going to do the walking water experiment. All right, in front of you, there are five cups. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to fill up water into three cups. So we'll have water, empty, water, empty, water. All right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. can you pour water into three cups now? Now we're going to put colouring in these three cups Ooh. so that we can see the water flow. Okay, we want to see walking water, right? We're going to put red in the first cup. Yellow in the second cup. And we're going to put blue in the third cup. strips that we have folded and put it in between the red and the empty cup okay don't, okay all right good job and another tissue paper between the empty and the yellow okay, push it down in a little bit there's like make then these two will be a mixture probably let's see all right now we're gonna put the tissue paper between the yellow and okay the blue and the empty and then another tissue paper in between the empty one and the yellow one. It goes up very fast. I wonder how long it'll take. Yeah, how long will it take? This might be um like 40, 14 hours or 14 <laughs> hours? hours? What do you think? What's your prediction? I think it would be 13 hours. 13 hours? That means you will see the color change tomorrow? Yes? 13 hours? No. Okay, give me a time. Now it's about 2 o'clock. Mm. So what time do you think the colors will change? What time do you think the colors will... Or the water will start moving? Mm. It will stop moving? 10. 10, ten hours? Or oh, 10 o'clock? Yeah. At night. Alright, okay. What about you? Now it's 2 o'clock. What time do you think it will start? 2.15. 2.15? Alright. 15 minutes, huh? Okay, we will see. So we predict and then we will up. Observe. observe. Alright. The blue is very fast. The blue is very fast? Yeah. Oh, I see. So that's your observation? Yeah. Okay. The so red. we are going to observe for the next 30 minutes or so. Alright, or one hour. Whatever. Okay, so... So, you think that it's 10 hours, you know, 10, seven, 8 10. hours, and you think that it's only 15 minutes. Okay, we will see. We shall see. Okay? So, we will wait and see, and we will come back to our experiment. Now your prediction was that the water over here is going to go over here, right? And then this is going to turn orange because the yellow over here will also go inside here. Yeah. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Alright, let's see. Let's see what colour is here. 
This is orange. Orange. Okay, you can see it's slightly orange. Okay, maybe the red was a little bit too much. So this is orange. And there is water here. Initially remember there is no water here. Oh right? yeah. No, there is. Okay. Oh so, and look over here at the yellow side. It's more like greenish. Okay, so here, okay, can you tilt the cup a little bit and show the camera? That is a little bit greenish. On this side, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit green. Because yellow and blue mix. Green. Mix green, okay? It's a little bit on the darker green or turquoise because there's too many there's quite a lot of blue just now that you put into the to the yeah. cup. Right? Okay, so as you can see there's water here as well. Initially it was empty. Now there is water. Water. So what happened? Where did this? Where, where did the water come from? The water came from here. From here and here. Here. How about this water? Where did it come from? There. Here and there. And here, the yellow and the red. Okay, now, how did it flow into the cup? Because the um, tissue is thick, right? So okay. the water try and move very slowly to through the through the tissue through the tissue. Okay. What about you? What do you think? How the did food, it go in? I think get through here. The food coloring see the tissue paper ladder. So then the, the, the food coloring want to bring the water with it, go up with the tissue paper and then go into the next cup to see. Your answers are right. Okay, the water flow through the tissue paper and get into the other cup. Okay, now this movement Initially, there's no, water, there's no water here. There's water here, right? There's lots of water. Remember what I said about diffusion? We move from crowded places to less crowded places, okay? It's the same as water. But this is called capillary action. Capillary action. Capillary action. Action, okay? So what happens is it uses the tissue paper like a straw. Straw. Like a straw, like a like a road, so the water moves through the tissue paper, like as if the water the, the and water go into is the, the car. yes. So it's like as though the water is the car and the tissue paper is the road. So the car goes through the road, right, to get yeah. to go another up. place, correct? So yeah. same goes. The water uses the tissue paper like a road and go to the other cup where it is empty. Alright, now this is also how, you all know plants, right? Yeah. How does plants get water from the roots? Remember when you water plants, you water the plant and also the soil, right? Now how does the whole plant, the leaves all get the water from the, from, from the soil? It is also through capillary action. So you pour water into the soil, right? And then the, the water goes through the, to the what? To the what of the plants? To the, to the stem. To the to roots of the stem, fir, uh, of the plants first. So the roots, and then the water go up the stem. stem and then to the Leaf. leaves. Okay, so that is also called capillary, capillary action. action. Okay, so because the water goes from the more crowded place to the less crowded place. Okay. The more water to the less water. Yeah, uh, or in this case, no water. So if your leaves are dry, a little bit dry, you can see that it's a bit dry. What do you do? Do you water the leaf or do you water the soil? Water the soil. You water the soil and then the water will go up the roots, into the roots, up the stem and to the leaf. To the leaves. It's going to be for the plant is a bit faster than this one. Really? Yeah. Remember. Uh, there was once where you see that your 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 leaves are a bit dry in the morning. Then you water the plant in the morning, and then when you came back from school in the afternoon, the leaves have freshened up a bit. Right? It's no longer dry. Correct? Because the water goes into the roots, up the stem, and to the leaves. So that, but it's called capillary action. action. Okay. All right. The end.